Welcome back friends. In this video, I am going to walk you through one feature which I have developed already. It was a small um, CRUD which I have developed for adding packages. Okay, so we had leads and while we were adding those leads, we had a field called interested packages, right? Now that was initially a text field, but now what we are trying to do is we are going to control the list of packages here through this CRUD. You know, there's a module called packages where I can go in and add new packages and only those will be visible. So the functionality is like you know, I have said you know, this was one which I had just created for demo. So uh, let's say uh, new um, let's say new year package. Okay, the amount again we have a thousand uh, five thousand and ten thousand right so let's say 500 rupees for uh, 500 days okay that's one package which we are creating so it comes over here right now we sort sorted alphabetically that's why it's coming there and i can go in and maybe edit some uh, features like 700 days something like that okay so there's the days the amount is there now when i go to leads i go to add lead i'll see that package over here right that's the top one so this is how we uh, are able to you know control the interested package so any new lead will have that you know all uh, all the leads i have uh, changed that so i can change the packages i can go from monthly to yearly for this particular one and we can see that's been affected so how have we done that is something which i'll show you i'll go through the code base so let's see we have you know, first of all we'll go to the landing page it's packages slash list so we will go to our web.php routes file and we can see there are hmm, spellings are wrong i'll i'll correct them but we have you know four routes one is packages slash list this is our listing page you know the one which we saw then we have packages dot save it's a post call uh, this is where the form is getting submitted then we have packages dash view uh, slash view slash package this is the view you know i'm doing the model binding and then there is one post call which basically handles the save of this form okay so these are the four packages which we have now why don't we go into individual you know uh, functions and see what what's there okay so first we'll go to construct the construct has a uh, has a rules array in it what was happening is i had certain common rules for um, store and then only one change in the rules array which was you know the package id so what i had done is i had made this common with three keys which is name is required amount is required and number of days is required and when i was uh, doing the update i just appended one more key so I'll, we will go over that but first let's see so this is the constructor which is basically my validation rules we will come come to that later i have the index page which is doing a query package query where status is active order by number of days i get them and i pass it to my um, inertia component so index dot view of packages okay let's see we have the title of the page let's go over the list so we have the title then we have a row which has two columns one column is the list of packages so in the card body i am doing a v if at the first instance if the length is more than zero which means i have some packages in here i will do a li with v4 so I have active package in active packages. I did the key and then we created an inertia link inside and we also added the amount. So we got this. Okay. If we don't have that V else, we say no packages added yet. The second column is the form, which is the add new package. Okay. This form is a common, um, form again for creating a package and editing a package right so this form is taking two parameters one is the handle 
package add okay so this is like an event i'll show you on the on the trigger of this event this method is getting called so it the event passes the package information okay and we call the route the post route package dot save with that information coming from the event and we are passing package data which is a blank entry because this is the create form okay so name is empty amount is empty and number of days so let's see the this particular package so package add form all right so we have a v on submit prevent we have a handle submit okay handle submit is here okay we'll go over that then we have typical form we have the labels inputs so we have local package dot name local package dot amount and local package dot number of days okay i'm taking package data as prop so you can see we have sent that in here blank package while i am creating it then again i have a local package okay because the data will change so i created it and then whatever was coming through the props i assigned it to local package okay because my model here is binded to local package what i'm getting is the package data so we need to assign it because props are read only so if i bind it here i will not be able to edit them okay so props is done created data now method so in the method i have you know created the post data i have name which is coming from local package dot name amount again local package dot amount and number of days coming from local package dot number of days then as you can see this component because it is not responsible for saving the information what it says is you know i was submitted the form says i was submitted this is the event which i am raising with the data the form which was submitted this is the data okay so it's um its job is done so it emits that data and then we empty it again okay so that after create the form gets empty so this event is emitted now what we in here again in the index view which is our main page or the parent container uh, or parent component right we are saying when this event is fired whenever this event is fired this is the function which will handle that event that's why this method will get triggered will get the data from the event and we as i said we are making this post call okay so yeah so index is i hope it's pretty clear when the form is getting submitted store function will be called we have post data equals this dot validate we are passing the request and the rules in here we have not made any modifications but once we get the post data we add a status which is equal to active because you know when we are creating a package we assume that it is going to be an active package otherwise you will not create it so we create the package now and then we redirect the user to the package list which is index.view which is this page okay so on save we come back to this page again and we see the new entry view view is quite easy we have a model binding so we get the package okay otherwise we'll get a 404 so we send package view uh, we'll send the package data as a prop to package view so let's load up package view inside package view we have initially the you know, the breadcrumb let's load up the page okay so we have this breadcrumb and then we have one more row where we have a card We are showing the package name and then again we are adding the package add form however this time things are a little different the package data okay is going to be package i wonder how that happened uh, it, it should be like this okay so so package data is going to be the package because i'm getting that package as a prop from the controller okay so this is the prop which i'm passing in here okay and again i said that when package added this event is triggered i will be calling this function so this is handle package update okay so this is the data i'm sending and this is the handler which i have added again when i get the data i add the id 
okay because i need that id which is something which i'll get here because i have you know the prop package coming in here so i say uh, package id is equal to this package id and then i send the data to the update method okay so so yeah if you and uh, no, uh, to give you a more better idea what will happen is when i'm sending this data into this form right so initially everything was empty however on created the data which is coming from the prop will have the name amount number of days so it is assigned to the local package and so the form is being populated so that's the reason we have this and uh, so yeah and the rest of the thing is same again package added uh, event will be triggered my package view will call this function and we may send the data to the update function inside the controller now in the update function again we have request we create an array of rules i append id which is required it should exist in the packages table in the id column okay so my final rules array is created Once that is done, I run it through the validation. So we have post data equals this validate request rules. Once that is done, we update all the, um, how do you say, all the um, parameters in here. All the columns are updated and we hit save. And then again, I send them or redirect them back to the package list, which is this. Okay, so this is done. I get the you know package information so once that is done why don't we look at how we are handling the leads okay so close all others so now let's look at how we are handling the drop down in the leads okay so we'll go to the leads view so the first thing which we have done in leads view is we are sending the packages information okay i have taken all the package uh, the active packages okay this is the query scope but what i have done is said this is scope active where query where status is active this is the only you know additional clause that i have added in the query so i'll i'm taking all the packages which are active basically i'm sending it as a prop so inside my lead view you can see i have a new array coming which is the packages now that package is being sent to the lead form okay so lead form let's look at that in lead form i have the packages as an array this is passed and then i did this select okay uh, let me wrap it so that you understand it a little better okay so i have this select uh, select field initially it was a text field right so i have this select field which has you know the v model uh minded to interested package okay nothing changes in here it was a text field it was a v model lead interested package but then the option i have done a v4 option in op packages and then the value i'm taking it as name okay and the key is the id and uh, we bind uh selected okay so what is going what i need to do is when when there is no package information you know i don't really care but when i am showing the form with the information of a lead right at that point i need to show the uh, selected package from the drop down right so what i am doing is i am saying that if the option name is equal to equal to main lead dot interested package okay the main lead is basically uh, the lead information which is coming so when we are doing a view we get the actual lead right uh, lead prop so if the if the lead information is there and if that is equal to equal to the current option name then we do a selected we bind selected otherwise otherwise we don't do it so in that case what will happen is you know and when i am doing this view okay when i'm clicking on an individual lead because that information is there this is selected but when i do a add lead because that information is not there nothing is selected so i need to select that right so that is how sorry that is how we have you know handled 
this form and then the rest of the things are quite straightforward we haven't changed anything previously it was a text field so we were sending the value right now also we are sending the actual value and no ids or anything so you can see um, the vbind value is the option name okay and just so that you understand hold on okay it's a production build so the view is not uh, the view extension will not be activated but the names are coming as you know the interested package and all those things so so yeah that's the reason i get this okay and that's why when we are send, uh, saving the lead we get the actual interested package information let's so let's try to create one one new lead for demo lead demo at gmail.com put it for hmm, something like this okay age will be calculated i let's say we first selected the basic package okay add new package i do save add new package is added but then you know the we say okay no i don't want this i maybe i'll go with the new year package so as you can see initially this is selected right i i will hit refresh so my add new package is selected however when i say okay i am interested in this i hit save now this is selected if i go back this is updated and again the new year package is selected right so that's how this logic of you know selected is working and that's how we get that desired result so yeah this is how i you know uh, created the package uh, module it was a basic crud and not uh, much was done so i haven't created a whole series of um you know videos on how i have done it but instead i you know decided to explain it to you how the code works everything is there on git so you know you'll be fine you will find the code and i have given you the explanation i hope this helps you if you have any questions feel free to ask them on the comments and i will definitely try to you know help you as much as possible and yeah if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel